हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर ललित कुमार गंगेले वेलकम्स यू ऑल इन अनदर वीडियो ऑफ माय चैनल विच इज ऑन अ शॉर्ट ट्यूटोरियल ऑन लाइपोमास सो फ्रेंड्स देयर इज अ क्वेश्चन व्हिच वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली अराइजेस इन आवर माइंड दैट आर द लाइपोमास आर बॉदरिंग टू यू इज देयर एनी रिस्क एसोसिएटेड विद द लाइपोमा सो इन दैट रेस्पेक्ट वी विल explore all the possibilities regarding the lipoma and we will understand that are they risky or are they innocent as so let's try to understand what is lipoma as the name dignifies it is confined of the two words lipo and omas so omas is the word which is medically generally used to denote the tumors omas lipoma sarcoma carcinomas तो ओमास इज अ वर्ड विच रिप्रेजेंट्स द ट्यूमर एंड लाइपो इज द वर्ड विच इज द इन द इनिशिएशन ऑफ द नेम ऑफ लाइपोमा रिप्रेजेंट्स द लिपिड लिपिड लाइपोमा लिपिड दीज बोर्ड्स आर द सेम सो अ लिपिड लिडन ट्यूमर इज नोन एज द लाइकोमा ओके अ ट्यूमर विच हैज confined of the lipid only is known as the lipomas and basically most commonly they are found on the subcutaneous part of the body here is a very good example of the lipoma you can see that this is the muscular layer of our superficial surface of the body and over it there is the skin and beneath the skin and this muscle there is the fat tissue so the lipomas always get their origin in the fat tissue so what exactly happens that there is a formation of the fibrous capsule in which or which is completely filled with the lipid or fat tissue so a lipid laden tumor is known as the lipoma now what are the symptoms of skin lipoma small round masses that are less than 3 inches in the diameter okay and lesions are generally soft and doggy to feel what is the means of doggy doggy means they are movable underneath the skin they 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 can move in the certain extent beneath the skin so it is known as the lipoma now what is the medically def definition of lipoma lipoma are the single or multiple subcutaneous tumor easily recognizable by a soft round lobulated shape they have okay then they do not develop into the cancer as they are made from the fat cells with the same morphology as normal one and can't propagate generally if they occur they occur at the specific place and there is no propagation of the disease generally in the case of the lipoma they appear everywhere but are usually found on the chest neck arm and back these are the common locations where we are able to see these lipoma they are most common non cancerous growth of the soft tissue in the medical science lipomas are the most common type of non cancerous tumors which is found in the soft tissue okay now the it is not necessary that the people do not have the malignancy in the case of lipoma 99% cases of the lipoma are non cancerous or benign in nature but there is always the some percent of chances which are obviously very rare that this disease can became malignant or the cancerous in nature so the two type of uh, tumor generally are benign and malignant so lipoma is generally falls under the heading of the benign tumor but they can be malignant okay is especially if they arise from the parenchymal tissue what are the paren parenchymal tissue if the uh, lipoma occurs in the main tissue or parenchymal tissue of any organ as liver renal cells liver cells hepatocellular carcinoma so in that way lipoma can be malignant or so but the chances and probability of happening this are very rare sarcoma arise from the mesenchymal tissue or connective tissue that is known as the liposarcoma okay so these are the type of tumors or lipomas what is the outcome of this disease 
द आउटकम ऑफ द लाइपोमा इज एक्सीलेंट दे आर पॉसिबल देर इज पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ रिको रिओकरेंस इफ रिमूव रिमूवल इज इनकम्प्लीट If there is the surgical excision of the lipoma, which is the only treatment which allopathy has in nowadays. So, if the removal was not complete, then there is the chances that the lipoma can grow in the future. As the benign tumor, there is the no chance of spreading. Okay, this is also a good news. Subcutaneous lipoma never present any risk, while internal lipoma may lead to the some complication if not. remove such as the bleeding ulceration and also carcinoma okay finally the worsening of the tumor into the malignant form is very rare but have been reported only for the bone and the kidney lipoma so or lipoma which is occurring in the any organ or the parenchymal area of any organ okay now let's get further suspicious sign that want the immediate removal of the lipoma as we are in the field of homeopathy and we are in the uh, homeopathic jurisdiction but there are some limitations of the homeopathy especially in the cases of the lipoma that means in those cases it is mandatory to go for the immediate removal of the lipoma via surgery and what is that if the lump is suddenly started to grow very large then you had to go to the surgery greater than 5 cm in, di in diameter located in the extremity retroperitoneally or in growing in scrotum or in the abdominal wall if there are the deep lipoma beneath or fixed to the superficial fascia then these had to be removed surgically and exhibiting malignant behavior if there is any sign of malignancy in the case of the lipoma doesn't matter at what part of the body they are then you had to go to the immediate removal of these lipomas via surgery okay up the main question arises that how to get rid of naturally to the lipomas ki how can we rid or rid them naturally so naturally there are two treatment of the lipoma if one is natural and the second second is unnatural the natural treatment of the lipoma about which we are going to talk in the later part of the video video is is the only homeopathy and what is the unnatural treatment the surgical excision of these lipoma in my opinion is the unnatural procedure so what is the cause of lipoma according to homeopathy according to the uh, human physiology so lipomas in my opinion are the sign of psychotic character hai na and this psychotic character predicts many upcoming risk in the future of the patient of the lipoma that means lipoma dignifies that the fat metabolism of the patient of lipoma is not good and that is why he is having this type of the lipid laden tumor under the skin in my opinion the person who is right now is the patient of the lipoma had the greater risk of having the cardiovascular disease okay as uh, which i also uh, uh, told in my video on the warts that means warts is the also sign of the psychotic character in the same manner the lipoma is also the sign of psychotic character so in both the cases the patient of what either the patient of lipoma these both people have the greater risk of having cardiovascular disease in the future because cardiovascular disease and the blockage of the coronary arteries in my opinion is a psychotic character rather than syphilitic or sorry okay so what lipoma tell us that we you had to be in the very good discipline regarding the intake of the free fatty acid those people who, who are right now having the lipomas they should avoid the fat and they should do the regular exercise in order to prevent any cardiovascular risk in the future okay let's get straight into the next part of the video in this slide you can see that this is the formation of lipoma this is what is known as the muscles okay this is the skin and the superficial fat and connective tissue and in this form we find the lipomas under the skin too because most of the cases of the lipomas uh, are superficial and over the skin and they are palpable okay we can palpate them in the form of a small soft nodule which is able to move till some extent under the skin okay now 
here are some examples of the lipoma the lipoma can be ranged from a very small nodule under the skin to the extensive found formation or extensive uh, formation of the uh, lipomas over the whole body as you can see in this slide this person has a lot of lipomas on his legs both legs thighs chest arms and in, in this slide you can see that he is having the such a matlab intense matlab lipoma over the hands okay so it can range from merely a very small nodule elastic nodule to extensive nodules and extensive size of the lipomas at the different part of the body okay now let's get straight to the treatment regarding the lipoma in my experience the three top medicine regarding the lipoma treatment in homeopathy are thuja 200 barita carb 200 and lapis albus 200 the person who is suffering from this can take these medicines without consideration of anything but the terms and conditions are that the treatment should be prolonged why because lipomas are the result of very long continued diseased lipid metabolism they are not in came into the existence once in a while okay so being the patient of lipoma a person a person should be uh, prepared to take these medicines for the very long period of time in my opinion the treatment of minimum some month is necessary to get rid of them okay but guys so uh, this is uh, this was the very small tutorial regarding the lipoma if you like if you like the uh, like this video then please share this video uh, subscribe my channel and please comment in the comment section that on what topic in the future you want to see any video so friends let's that's all for today we'll meet you very soon in the next video thank you